Uh, it's Fat Boy and Power Zinc. The night's the night. It's the revolution. Uh, uh, why is it always some old black and white boy telling us young fellas that we ain't relevant in a world that embellishes like a relative content from these elements? You call them stars. I call them settlements. Yo, 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 what's going on? It's your boy, Brother DJ, part of the squad cast, coming to you live from the, you know what I'm saying, I got that good green screen behind me, looking real good, real professional. Shout out YouTube land. Subscribe to the channel. We, sus we definitely appreciate every 119 subscribers that we do got. I've been peeping that. Uh, Junkyard Gang just dropped a new venture out here, you know what I'm saying? So definitely go watch that. Uh, very funny and entertaining, you know what I'm saying? I'm definitely glad to see my brothers uh, back together. Uh, usually, I always start off by, usually I say pour out a little, you know what I'm saying? I'm switching it up, pour out some alkaline water for my brothers who ain't here. Do, 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 do. Brother Sheffin, Godmother, Brother Black, BJ Powers, uh, the whole Junkyard Gang, Jesse, Charles, you know what I'm saying? Uh, El Presidente, you know what I'm saying? If y'all don't know, that's uh, Brother Sheffin's sister, you know what I'm saying? She was on one of the... Uh, first couple of casts that we did or whatnot and uh you know i think she's a part of junkyard gang now and uh, definitely uh you know happy to have her so uh you know pour out that good alkaline water for the brothers and sisters who ain't here all right all right all right hope everybody's been doing pretty good out there here in uh, des moines iowa also out there in youtube land and wherever you at i know right now we had a nice little uh I don't want to call it a blizzard, but we got a nice amount of snow, but all that stuff is melted away right now, you know what I'm saying? So, streets is clear, everybody's out doing their thing, feeling good, looking good, so let's get to it, let's get to the money, that's what we're here for, you know, so I'm back with another Wolf on Wall Street, how about your boy? Uh, yo, it's been a crazy couple weeks, these last couple weeks here, man, in the stock market, i tell you that much, uh, Bitcoin been doing numbers, uh, I think it hit... 40,000, 39, 40,000 last week, uh, which is pretty amazing. Uh, right now, it's been dipping uh, in between. It's currently standing at like 37,000 right now. So it's still doing numbers, you know what I'm saying? Of course, it's the cryptocurrency wave, so it's going to go up and going to go down, uh, you know, but it's, it's been mostly up. So that's that's a good thing. Like I said, I got some funds and some cryptocurrency. So uh, definitely Bitcoin for sure. Uh, definitely going to get into Litecoin. Uh, here in a minute but uh as i'm just saying uh there's been a lot of things going on in the stock market a lot of uh home runs that i've embarked on my uh nickel and dime robin hood account that i've been sharing with you guys uh one of the pickups that i had that i talked about before was fuel cell i got into fuel cell when it was eight dollars and 91 cents a share and then uh fuel cell jumped up <laughs> fuel cell jumped up major uh it was at a 20 week high of twenty dollars and 94 cents uh so imagine you know with me buying at eight dollars and 91 cents and then shooting up to twenty dollars if i would have sold it at that time i would have made a nice i may i made i made double more than my money believe me trust me when i tell you this uh, and once again, just for the record, I'm no financial advisor. This is just me sharing my per one of my accounts with you guys. Definitely the one that I, this is the one I nickel and dime, just to keep you guys up to date and let you know that it don't take a whole lot of money to be doing this. You know what I'm saying? You can make money. To me, I look at this as like a glorified savings account, except that I can control my money that's going in there and the, the money that's being made opposed to uh, letting it just sit in a real savings account and just collect pennies on interest or whatever the case may be. But like I said, I had fuel cell, I had a, a substantial amount of shares and I, I waited to see if it was gonna shoot up like plug did, power plug, plug power. Uh, fuel cell ticker, by the way, is F-C-E-L. So for those who are on Robinhood, those from Webull or whatever, whatever trading you do, it's F-C-E-L, the ticker symbol. And like I said, when I bought into it, it was $8.91. Uh, it's currently sitting at $16 a share even. So even with the drop from the 20-week high, I'm sorry, the 52-week high of the $20.94 that it was, it's still profitable. It, those who have bought into this, at the time that I did, 
you, you're not losing money. You're not losing. Even though, even if you didn't sell at the 2094, you, you didn't lose money. I sold. <laughs> I sold. I'm not going to lie. I sold my shares. I think I sold out when they were at $17 a share. So uh, I definitely doubled my money uh, in this venture. And, you know, I cashed out, you know, and on to the next one. So now with fuel cell, and I, and I might buy back into it because I, I honestly believe that they are going to have the same the same rising as plug power they're very similar to each other and plug power speak of the devil uh is currently sitting at 60 dollars and 25 cents a share subscribe to the channel by the way and uh you know when i bought it it was fifteen dollars and forty one cents a share. See, this is what we call a home run. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm I'm up two hundred and ninety one percent in this particular stock. Plug Power ticker symbol is P U L G. By the way, for every just to let you guys know P U L G. And once again, I'm no financial advisor, but I'm just letting you guys know for those who are on a budget, those who don't think they have a lot of money to go ahead and invest. I told you guys I put twenty dollars, thirty dollars, ten dollars, fifteen dollars, fifty dollars. I nickel and dime this account to where it is right now. You know what I'm saying? And that's just because I'm just toying with it. I'm not doing that with my other accounts because this is just somewhat of an experiment to me, but it's with real money still. So, like I said, plug power, sixty dollars and twenty-five cents a share right now. Uh, it had a fifty-two week high of seventy-three dollars and ninety cents, and when I saw that, I was like, cha ching money, 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 stacks on deck, SOD. You know what I'm saying? And I was about to cash out, but I was like, nope, nope. We're gonna keep riding this wave. I see this is a long-term play for me. Uh, I'm gonna keep holding on to it because at this point. When you're up 291 percent you're not losing at all no matter how much the stock fall i bought it at 15.41 a share so I'm, I'm good either way all right but my current portfolio right now in this particular robin hood account is plug power jumia uh lca which is now golden nugget online gaming uh CEO Tillman Fertitta, who owns the Houston Rockets, Starbucks, Apple, Nike, Disney, Tesla. All right. And uh, Tesla is definitely a long term play for me. Disney is a long term play for me. Nike, Apple, Starbucks are not long term plays for me. If I didn't say uh, this one, and if I did, I apologize. I forgot about Neo. Neo is trying to be like the next Tesla as far as in the car industry. But Tesla, most people don't even understand that Tesla is more than just a car company. Tesla is bigger. Cars are just one part of the entity of Tesla. They're a whole just they're they're a tech company. They, they they're in space. They have so much going on. So that's why I stress getting into Tesla. That's why I wanted to get my position. In the Tesla, Tesla is sitting at 823.80 right now uh, per share. When I got into Tesla, my average cost per share is $527.88. I'm up 56% right now in Tesla. Uh, so it, it's been it's been very good. But uh, like it, it like right now, it's been a lot of red. <laughs> it's been a lot of red, y'all. Uh, a week ago. I was only up uh, four 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 percent a month ago. This account was up thirty five percent. Three months ago, fifty three percent. Year to date, year to date, I'm up sixty six percent. All right, so uh, I'm up sixty six percent. I'm up two hundred and forty dollars. Uh, actually, no, I made a mistake. That's not accurate. You can cancel that. That's not the accurate amount that I'm up. But uh, I'm up more than that, actually. I, I, I got, I forgot that I got, I hope some money sent in my, my buying power and some other stuff. So excuse that. But uh, once again, um, I'm, I'm showing you guys 
the path to financial freedom outside of a nine to five, outside of your basic 401k. Yes, I have 401k. I've, I've stressed that enough. If you got a job that offers 401k, you better damn sure get it. And you better put something in it, especially if they price match it. All right. Yes, I have a Roth IRA. All right. Uh, I just got my, my, my Ozark and Pioneer Fund statement to yesterday in the mail. All right. Uh, that's my third party company who I go to. Is that they're based out in Kansas City. Uh, shout out Judy, who's uh, my account holder, uh, brokers for me. She uh, definitely come through in the clutch for me. Rest in peace, uh, John Oxford, because he was the original one that I linked up with when I was 18, when I started setting up my mutual funds, when I had my, my son and whatnot. So, um, you know, that's, you know, the life insurance, my Roth IRA, all in one account. Um, like I said, I got cryptocurrency, Bitcoin's doing numbers. Uh, I'm definitely not losing in that. I definitely think that you guys should go into that. Um, it's, 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 like I said, it's gonna be the new way of currency, I believe, not now, maybe later on down the line. Uh, it's, it's a lot of Fortune 500 companies that's already ventured off into Bitcoin, buying tons of Bitcoin. They can't mine the Bitcoins fast enough for as much people as buying it. It's crazy, you know? Uh, but uh, don't be scared to take a chance. All this is, is, is a chance. It's a trust. It, I mean, it, nothing's guaranteed in the stock market, but if you get into the more secure plays, then you're going to have a greater chance of, of, of making you know money. Uh, some of the plays that I'm in, like I said, fuel cell was something that I jumped in, quick money grab, in and out. You know what I'm saying? Um, Plug power, not so much. Jumia, not so much because I see the potential in both those companies. Um, one thing that I stress that you look at before you invest in a company is look at the market cap. And if the market cap in the, of the company itself is in uh, the billions, that's basically how much it would take for somebody to buy them out. And if they're in the billions, that's a good thing. You know what I'm saying? So you definitely need to look at the market cap. I would definitely look at uh, look at the 52-week low and then the 52-week high and look where the, the stock price is now, and, you know, and, and, and see you can you can gauge the fluctuation from that as well. You can see if it's pretty stable, you know, if it took a major dip, but it, it, it is rising back up, you know, getting back to where it was. Like some of these companies, uh, like American Airlines, was was terrible. Uh, I got into that. I got out of that. Um, but I think I'm, I might get back into that as the vaccines are coming slowly but surely coming out anyway. Um, so, you know, there's a lot of different things that, that's, that's out here that you guys get into. There's, there's sure plays that you get into. Another company that I'm going to look into possibly get into is Intel. Uh, Intel uh, has definitely been doing pretty good, actually. Um, I keep them on my watch list. And uh, it's for a reason, actually. Uh, Intel is currently sitting at $57.44 a share. Um, they, they've, been, they've been doing pretty good. They, they, they give a 2.3% dividend yield. So uh, if you don't know what that means, that means that's how much that you would get back per share that you buy. You know what I'm saying? So... Uh, their 52-week low was $43.61. Their 52-week high was $69.57 and 29 So they 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 fell, you know. So they're currently sitting at that that's 57, close to 60 range. So once again, this is a a, a big company, um, whose stock price is in a viable range for those of us who don't have tens of thousands of dollars to be pumping into the stock market, you know? Uh, another company that I'm looking into, a uh, different industry, uh, the uh, cannabis is uh, Tilray, ticker symbol T-L-R-Y. Uh, this is a, a strong, one of the stronger cannabis companies uh, that's in the market right now. Uh, their 52-week low is $2.43. Uh, their 52-week high is 22.95, so they shot up a lot. Their current uh, stock price right now is 19.60, and with the new administration coming in, 
how they're looking more towards legalizing cannabis and a lot of CBD things and a, and a lot of uh, pro marijuana, you know, it, it's going to be looking pretty good. So uh, why not get your position in now and then watch it grow, you know, as legislation takes place with, you know, like I said, Uncle Joe and Kamala coming in. So, uh, like I said, I'm going to keep doing this for you guys. If you got any questions, if you got any hot stocks that I should be looking into, or any kind of uh, financial, you know, advice or you got any financial questions, you know, I'm like I said, I'm not an expert, uh, but I, I've been doing this for a while. It, it, not just this, but like I said, I, I just told you guys that I linked up with uh, a, a guy when I was 18 years old and started a mutual fund then, you know. So, I mean, I, I've been knowing about this. I've been knowing how to do this for a while, all right. So, um, if you have any questions, leave your comments, like, share, uh, subscribe to the channel always. Uh, pull out that good alkaline water from our brothers and sisters who ain't here. Brother Sheffin, Brother Powers, Brother BJ. Uh, Brother Jesse, Charles, the whole junkyard game. God, Mama, we miss y'all. Brother Black, we miss you. You know what I'm saying? I think I'm gonna like, I'm uh, link up with you later on this evening, on this Good Friday. Uh, Squadcast podcast will be in the building tomorrow, like normal. We got some goodies for y'all. You know what I'm saying? Uh, definitely want to give a big shout out to uh, Midwest Matthew because without him, none of this would be possible. Uh, he's definitely a safe haven for a lot of people who's got a lot of shows and a lot of podcasts going on in here. Uh, in the city and doing big things so uh definitely shout out to him follow midwest matthew on all social media uh ig uh snapchat i think he's on snap uh he, he's everywhere facebook everything you know what i'm saying he's a good brother and he, he's got a lot going on for himself he makes music he's got shows he's, he, he's a jack of all trades you know what i'm saying so um holla at him but uh outside of that uh, this has been a good one. I appreciate every one of y'all. Like I said, I appreciate all my subscribers, future subscribers. Y'all out there in YouTube land, have a good one. Be safe, all right?